Well, uh, first and foremost, everybody, hello, Crypto Warriors. My name is Damon Willis, NBA. Uh, usually, usually you'd see me smiling, uh, and I may crack a few jokes here, but uh, first and foremost, I just want to say uh, I feel really bad uh, out there for all of you Moon Day investors. Um, the reason I had made a video before is I was hoping that I was wrong about some of the things that I was seeing uh, with uh, just the debacle that is Moon Day. Uh, so before we go on, um, if I have content you're interested in, feel free to go ahead and smash that like button. Um, also, feel free to subscribe as well. But let's get into this Moon Day debacle. Now, I thought it was only right that I start out with trying to identify a different coffin emojis to describe the state of Moon Day right now. It's essentially dead. And I'll tell you why. Um, unfortunately, a lot of folks are losing money here. So current price of Moon Day, uh, according to CoinGecko, 41 bucks, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at <laughs> just a seven day look at this thing really quick, okay? Now, uh, you saw some fluctuation from about 300 bucks. I think it went all the way up to about 700. Yeah, 765, all the way down to 41 bucks today. Unfortunately, what you're about to see is I think this thing will continue to tank um, for a variety of reasons. Now, like some of you, I made tons of money off of Moon Day. Uh, quite some time ago. Uh, let's go back 30 days. Maybe that'll give us a picture here. Uh, let's see. No, it was longer than that. It's maybe, maybe a month and a half ago, I'm thinking, uh, is when I made money. Yeah, so October, I made quite a bit of money off of uh, Moon Day, uh, like many other folks did. It rolls all the way up to, you know, 4,000 bucks and people, you know, took profits and enjoyed that rise upward. I got in about at the $250 range back then, and uh, it seemed like a pretty good project. At that time, it was only the first staking aspect of Moon Day that existed. So I was like, great, 7% daily returns. This is locked up for 26 days. I'll get 185% of my money back. And since I'm one of the first ones to stake, I don't think that I'm going to lose any money here. So that was my thought process. Turned out to be a great investment. But when you go to the Moon Day website today, wow, it's not there anymore, right? This actually happened last night. Uh, took a look at my telegram. <laughs> But I got up this morning and I mean, honestly, it, it, there was more drama than any TV show that I, I mean, or, you know, any anything you could be watching right now. Um, the website's gone, right? So I said, let me check out Twitter. Let's see. Also gone, right? Um, and I tried to look on uh, YouTube. For the actual channel and i don't think that exists either what what does still exist is the telegram but what doesn't exist is uh the leader uh <laughs> the leader of um moon day then setsu has officially disappeared deleted his account along with the admins that were lying to people so I'm going to give you a quick rundown. I don't want to make this video long, but I do want to explain to people kind of what happened with Moon Day. So initially, this seemed like a pretty decent project. And what happened was when this thing began to skyrocket, uh, uh, Densetsu, the leader of Moon Day, decided, hey, let's roll out another DAP, uh, decentralized app. Uh, and that one was called, uh, what was that called? Moon Gold, right? So he wrote out Moon Gold 
And that's when things really started to kind of pick up. Uh, See, I was taking profits at (laughs) 10x at least or whatever. So I did really well. A few days later, uh, I don't remember the YouTuber, but he began to let everyone know that Densetsu and his team at Moonday were scammers. And he laid out why, all these reasons why. FUD, FUD, FUD. Moon Day continued to press on after the price tanked. And the answer for Densetsu was to come up with a contest where people uh, invested their money on an exchange and they were supposed to win $153,000 in Moon Day prizes. Never happened. Lie. Um, How do I know? I was one of the people who did it. So at this point, uh, when Densetsu contacted me and asked me to continue to do videos for Moon Farm, I said, I don't think that I can share this information with the folks in my channel because there are questions that have not been answered, um, and I just don't feel comfortable doing so. As Moon Farm is launching, there were still people who were staking uh, Moon Day in order to get 7% returns daily. There was no money to pay these people. Tons of people lost money here. They were supposed to be compensated uh, and refunded. Never happened as he's launching Moon Farm. When Moon Farm was launched, another issue happened. Magically, someone was able to hack the system and stole everyone's Moon Farm. So Moon Farm tokens had to be reissued. So right now, let's let's run through the scams and lies here. First scam. First lie. Hey, guys. Um, Moon Day will continue to pay out. Uh, and you'll get 7% interest on your money. That was a lie because that payout dried up. Lie number two. Uh, Hey, guys, uh, this great contest, we're going to pay out $153,000 in Moon Day. That was lie number two. So at that point, there was nothing else I was going to involve myself with in terms of promoting or supporting Moon Day. I was going to be along for the ride and continue to see what was going on in Telegram, but I was no longer participating as a supporter. Uh, So then you had Moon Farm was the answer to all these problems. Um, The sad sad thing is there was another dApp that I can't remember of, remember the name of now, was another one. Uh, that he launched that was also trash. Like it, it tanked and it didn't work when it was launched. Like there's just been so many different issues. Issue number three was a failed third dap. Before we get to the fourth dap, which is Moon Farm. Moon Farm was supposed to provide liquidity and everything was supposed to be great. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. Um, as of today, all these guys have disappeared. All these guys constantly blocking people that were trying to tell the truth on Telegram. Uh, All the people who never receive their their payouts for the for the moon day that they staked. Um, All the people that uh, traded and uh, spent money on this contest that never got paid. These dudes are crooks. It's very unfortunate that some of you are going through what you're going through right now. Uh, Unfortunately, this is part of crypto. um, And, you know, it's not financial advice. We kind of all make our decisions here. But nonetheless, I wanted to uh, just share a video and provide a forum other than Telegram for folks to kind of comment um, and actually understand that there's other folks out there who know what's going on. Uh, What these guys were doing was totally unethical um, and very disappointing. Um, Like I said, I said no to doing any additional videos, but I was really hoping that I was wrong and that there would be, you know, some upside for people who continue to support Moon Day. 
Uh, with that said, um, my channel, I, I do share some investments that, not investments, uh, I do share opportunities. Again, this is not financial advice for things that may be less risky. Um, and I also share opportunities, uh, you know, for uh, new token sales and launches as well. I think the key here is to understand that there are platforms out there that provide safer alternatives to the moon days of the world. Uh, so you have uh, you have a Launchpad and Safe Swap that are launching on YF Die. Um, I hold I hold some YF Die, strong supporter of YF Die, and I I invested in it because I want to make safer investments that make the most sense. Uh, away from, you know, these shady things that are going on with Moonday uh, and other crypt crypto launches that I don't want to get into right now. Um, so you have a YF die. Some of you are familiar with DuckDAO and Ferrum Network as well, um, who assist in folks uh, launching, uh, uh, getting into safer uh, crypto launches and pre-sales. Uh, so, you know, moving forward, definitely do your due diligence. All money is not good money. Um, there's a lot of money to be made in DeFi and crypto uh, in general, but please do your homework, do your due diligence. And when these guys are lying to you, when they're not following through with what they said they would do, there's usually something going on there. There's usually issues with uh, their their own personal code of ethics. And you don't want to put yourself in a situation where uh, you're hurt financially. Um, so all that to say, uh, all of you folks out there that, uh, you know, have lost money uh, with Moon Day, I feel really bad for you. Uh, my heart goes out to you guys. And uh, the good news is this. We're officially in a bull run. Bitcoin has... <laughs> surpassed and reached a new all-time high so we have some great things going on guys just learn from this experience and as you move forward uh try to make better decisions um on where you invest your money again not financial advice i just wanted to share this with you guys feel free to comment uh below and uh subscribe as well i'll be sharing a lot of uh projects uh and things uh that are coming up real soon. And I uh, want to just leave you with this. Uh, start every day with a grateful heart. I'm Damon Willis, MBA, and you're tuned in to Blockchain Season. Take care, guys.